Paradox revealed a massive amount of content in last weekend's PDXCon. Along with some more DLC for their staple games and the reveal of Paradox board games, we finally got the word on Paradox's newest grand strategy title that they've been teasing for a while, Imperator Rome. Imperator Rome takes place between the rise of Alexander's successor empires in 304 BC to the age of Augustus and the founding of the Roman Empire, roughly about 320 years, at least for the base game. And while we did get an announcement trailer, it shows us nothing about the game itself and we only have a small handful of screenshots to run off of. In the days since the announcement, the Paradox forums have been exploding with threads on the game and the Imperator Rome Reddit has been buzzing as well. Between these two sources, there's a lot of both speculative and confirmed information we can gather from what little has been revealed. So let's take a look at five aspects we know so far about Imperator Rome. The Clouswitch engine has been used in every game Paradox has created since 2007 with Europa Universalis 3, with the Clouswitch 2 engine debuting in 2011. Instead of releasing a brand new engine with the newer games, they've simply updated it to cater to them. Confirmed in the Paradox forums by Johan Anderson himself, Imperator Rome will indeed run off of a quote-unquote new version of Clauswitch, adding that the game runs faster and quicker than any previous game. While we don't know what exactly is in the new version, hopefully it means that they've been working on a 64-bit update which will allow multi-core optimization. Based on the screenshots and the information given on the Steam page, a lot of people were curious if the game was going to be based more on the people management style of Crusader Kings 2, or if it will be more empire based as in Europa Universalis. In both an AMA Reddit thread and in the forums, it's been relatively confirmed that the player is indeed in charge of a nation rather than an individual or family, though you will have to handle the political side of generals and governors within your own empire, ensuring their loyalty and success, as well as some hints of being able to favor certain families to guarantee your power remains prominent along their descendants. While that is an extremely broad overview of the game, it does cover the gist of how you'll be playing with regards to previous Paradox games. One thing that has the community buzzing is a reworked combat system, shown in a couple of screenshots. While it's been confirmed that combat will still be EU based, aka controlled in some part by dice rolls, armies have both unique cultural units, as well as access to a wider range of units for their armies. They also have access to certain army stances that the player can use to potentially combat an enemy's own stance, giving them a slight edge defensively or offensively. For instance, there is a stance after losing a battle that will significantly slow down the army and increases its upkeep but does allow the army to replenish significantly faster. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more about combat in future updates. Confirmed in screenshots, Paradox's forums, and in the Reddit thread, Imperator Rome will base its population system on the POP style, stemming from both Victoria 2 and the Stellaris games. POPs are represented in the hundreds, and each POP will have its own culture and religion, with the majority of both being shown in your cities. Pops are broken up into citizens, freemen, tribesmen, and slaves, and they will all have their own specific demands and benefits. Imperator Rome wouldn't be a paradox game without a ton of DLC, and there is plenty of space left for DLCs. Speculations from religion extending into later Roman eras, as well as government overhauls are running wild in the community. Not to mention the whole right side of the top bar in screenshots is strangely empty with room for at least 9 buttons. Whether you agree with it or not, there will be a lot of DLC in Imperator's future, though that does mean that Paradox aims to support this game for a long time, which is a bit of an encouraging highlight to consider. As of right now, Imperator has an early 2019 release date. Though I guess we'll see just how obtainable that is once we get more information on the game. Hope you enjoyed the video, I'll definitely be keeping up with this game for sure, as it has me very excited about its potential. There's several things I've missed that I'd like to cover, so subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on, that way you stay up to date with both this game and several others. Thank you for watching again, this is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.